Welcome to the hidden wonder of Colombia. We're deep inside the Colombian canyons south of Santander in a village called Florian. Florian is completely untouched by international and local tourism. And I think we might know why. The road conditions to get to this town are quite literally the worst that we have experienced in the past two years of driving the Americas. But far few of those that do make it to this town are rewarded with something magical that was formed thousands of years ago. It is called Ventanas de Tesquezeque. It is also known as the window to the town of Florian and you'll see the reason why. Getting to this village is no easy task. Let us explain how we exactly ended up here in the first place. Our drive started from the town of Barbosa at 9.30 a.m. and we had a total of 60 kilometers to cover to reach Florian. Google Maps showed us an easy 2.4 hours, but the first five kilometers of the road started looking really bad. Are you excited, Sam? Yep. 15 kilometers on this shitty dirt road. I am not excited. It will take us forever. Everest, are you excited? I bet we stopped and asked locals what the conditions ahead were like and they seemed to think half of it was bad and half of it was hermosa, meaning beautiful. Two hours later, we arrived in the village of Jesus de Maria where we met a friendly Colombian uncle that wanted to hitch a ride with us. How are you, senor? I'm Jairo. Jairo? Yes, Jairo Lopez. Jairo Lopez, my name is Kartik Sim. Thank you so much. We asked him again if our van would make it all the way to Florian and how the roads are up ahead. He said the roads uh, they exist and our van would make it, but very slowly. For the next four hours, we crossed 35 kilometers and reached Florian with our bodies sore and our brakes completely broken. This was quite scary as we were not able to stop as we were rolling into the town. Luckily for us, the people of the village were super welcoming and they saw that we were in trouble and helped us late into the evening to make sure that we were safe and we had a place to sleep for the night. And that brings us here into this beautiful cabin. After a horrible day of driving, we needed a break from van life and switch to cabin life. So the next 24 hours were spent just staring out the window, laying on the bed, and enjoying the waterfall from the comfort of this beautiful cabin. Welcome to our beautiful, beautiful home for the next few days. Now that we are well rested, we are ready and energized for an epic day of adventure exploring these waterfalls and caves. But before we head out, I have to make sure my boys are fed. So. Time for some good breakfast for Kartik and for our doggo. One of the delicious things I've learned to make in Colombia is, of course, the arepas, but it's not the white arepa, it's the, the corn arepa made of um, sweet corn. It's absolutely delicious. I add some Indian ingredients in it and it almost tastes like a banana. Boil water, mix the flour. I'm just gonna add some Indian ingredients in it. Add some chili. Indian arepa banega bro. Some cumin. You need to mix it really fast. It should turn into a dough. And then you make small patties of this dough and eat. How's your breakfast? It was literally the best thing ever. We like that crunchiness, don't you? Mm. It's like ade. <laughs> this and the view. Okay, we're well fed. Arepas was awesome. And I was waiting for the clouds to come in so we have a better view when we get to the waterfalls. So now it's time to head to Charco Azul, which is the bottom of the three waterfalls that we see. So we're gonna try to get to the bottom of that. Let's go. Tried a bunch of routes to get to the bottom of the falls. Uh, 
dead ends after dead ends. It's getting hot and humid. That's why they say come with the guide. And you should come with the guide. We're back at the cabin, absolutely defeated. We did not make it to the bottom of the falls like we had planned. We're not giving up. We're gonna try again tomorrow morning. We'll see you tomorrow. Not only is this place hard to get to, but apparently to get into the bottom of the falls is also hard. Or we're just kind of stupid and we don't know the way. Also possible. All right, we are heading out to the town, attempting round number two today. Uh, but today we have a better plan. We got our amigo Emerson with us from uh, from the town of Florian, who's going to show us the easy route um, and make a fool of us for not going with him yesterday. Yeah. This part is a little sketch. We didn't realize this because we came here when it was dark, and uh, now we're seeing this in daylight. There's literally a waterfall cutting the road. Oh my God, that was painful. That was painful. We have reached the trailhead near the city, which is much easier. Start. Mi nombre es Emerson. Mm -hmm. Soy aquí de Florian Santander. Soy guía turístico. Bienvenidos. Gracias. A Florian. This is a private property. You pay 10,000 pesos per person to enter because it's all private property. See? Privado. Privado. Esta hoja se llama hoja de Bijao. Se utiliza para envolver los piquetes florianenses. Colombia is one of the most biodiverse and naturally rich regions in all of South America. However, in a town like Florian, far away from major roadways, the locals have to take advantage of their surroundings to try and minimize the need of transporting supplies multiple times a week. We made it out just in time. It's raining pretty heavy now. What an incredible view from down there. I think it was definitely worth taking all that hassle to come down here after failing once, being in this town for three days. This is our fourth day actually. And thanks to Emerson, the local OG here, who's been running these trails uh, and maintaining them for a very long time now. Uh, definitely he helped out a lot because the rocks were very, very slippery and it was very dangerous to go down, so definitely helps to have a local with you on these unmarked trails. No better view than the view of your home on view. Right there. Absolutely my favorite view after a hike. Casa Rodante. My Casa Rodante. Ah. Everest. My brown man. How's your hike? Once we got to the trailhead, we realized our van had different plans. She refused to reverse back uphill out of the trailhead. Our friends literally showed up while we were coming up back uphill on this road. And now they are towing us out. First thing they do is help us out. That's what overlanders do for each other, I guess. We drove straight into town for a much needed meal. <laughs> and after our lunch, Emerson had a little surprise for us. Parting gifts. Florian is becoming a permanent part of our van. Me gusta Florian. Me gusta Florian. And then Jenny. Wow. Florian. Permanent. Gracias. You found something Indian. We found something Indian. We had some Indian money. Este. 10 pesos. 10 pesos. Yes. Este 100 pesos. Wow. India! Namaste! Gracias. If there's one thing we've learned from this town of Florian is that people are super, super friendly and super helpful from the moment that we stepped foot into this town. It's just been open hearts and warm smiles all around. So Mr. Emerson here is taking us to show his town. But also, apparently they make their own lo some local alcohol called Tustus. 
it's very strong, stronger than tequila and it's like a medicine. So we're going to try some tustus. Muy fuerte, tustus. Yes. Buenas. <laughs> 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 The ingredients are cocoa leaves, marijuana leaves, cane sugar, and it's buried for 20 days to ferment it. Wow! Oh. So I just had my first uh, Colombian three, 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 marijuana three, three, three. and cocoa leaf experience. Yeah. The Tustus sent me right to bed for the night. The next morning, we had one last stop to make. Out of the three levels of this waterfalls, you can go all the way to the top inside the cave called the Ventanas, or the window to Florian. We came to learn here that these majestic waterfalls hold a deep spiritual significance to the indigenous people of Florian that date back thousands of years. Legend has it that this cave is pretty significant to this town because the native people from here of Tisti Zuke took their lives from this cave from this point where they jumped off this place because they didn't want to be captured by the Spaniards and they wanted to go out with honor rather than be slaves to them. Another importance of this cave is that it also holds many spiritual significance for them. It's pretty incredible to see the significance of this place rather than just being a waterfall and you can definitely feel something special. The energy here is different. As soon as you see this view, Wow, it's pretty, pretty amazing, pretty amazing view. I'm so glad we made this trip, baby. explain to you what this cave meant for the indigenous people and how it was structured if you look behind me up there that was the throne of the Kazike tribe so the king used to sit there and the people down here these benches you see is where they used to perform their ceremonies and rituals but the cool part is if you come with me there's a big rock pot of water that had water dripping from the skeletites and the babies were baptized in that big pot. The pot is huge, it's bigger than me where the kids used to baptize and apparently behind this rock here, there's a secret room where the women used to give birth to kids. It's just a fascinating spiritual place. Agua pura, agua, agua pura, agua vida, agua vida, agua del cacique, agua del cacique. Magical experience. Oh my god, this is life changing. This water is very fresh, huh? Oh my god, it tastes so nice. Okay, this is it for our time in beautiful area Florian Santander. Uh, it is truly a hidden gem. The places we've seen, the experience we've had, they are one of a kind. And the fact that majority of it is free blows my mind and is so untouched. If you are coming to Colombia, I know it's a little detour from the main cities and the main airports, but it's so, so, so worth it. Spare like two to three days because the driving here is intense but definitely come here. I hope you enjoyed this vlog with the Brown Man Life. I'm Smriti, my husband Karthik and Everest. We are on Instagram also with the Brown Man Life. Make sure to check out our daily updates, follow us here, subscribe and leave us a comment. What do you want to see more? Ciao. Yeah. On to the next adventure. Okay.